Hello, this is Yanis from Any Repair. Today we will go through a repair for a MacBook, a MacBook A2338 that uh, came into our lab dead. Let's go and see how we'll deal with this damage. Here's the MacBook uh, on our desk. We have removed the battery cover and uh, this is uh, the current model. Eighth. 2338, uh, which is uh, having no power. Let's go and plug the amp meter. You can see that uh, it is not negotiating for 20 volts, only 5 volts. And the first port. Let's go and check the other one. Same thing. It is not uh, requesting for uh, 20 volts. So, we must uh, find out the reason. Let's uh, go and uh, check with our voltmeter, with our multimeter. In uh, diode mode, we will check uh, for coil voltage drop which this one is good this is the main rail it is good this upper coil is good this coil is good this one the big one is good no short No sort two. We're having nice values. And oops, this is not good. This is a coil, as I can see, and uh, with a low value, but not close enough uh, to the CPU, so it should be high and it is low. Let's go and see with our microscope. To see better, let's go and find the exact location of this coil. This is it. It is definitely a coil. Let's go and check again. Ground and coil. nearly zero so it is definitely a short i think uh, it is a capacitor short a very low value so let's go and see the board view for this uh, particular board this is it i will enlarge and uh, find the exact location of this uh, coil this is it this is the coil and uh, the first pin is connected to the regulator the other to the load so we must uh, remove uh, this coil and check uh, if uh, the short circuit is uh, on the side of the regulator or the side of the load let's go and uh, remove this uh, coil heat gun and tweezer we will remove it and uh, we will uh, solder our DC jack for testing for injecting uh, voltage and see what we will get hot we will add some uh, flux to make things easier I have uh, poke something around with our with my with my tweezer 
So let's put it back. Poke again with low air pressure. Come on. Okay. I think we're good now. So it is the time for uh, the DC jack to be soldered. The red uh, wire on the load side and the black wire will go to a ground point. I will find a screw pad to solder the, the black wire. There is good. And we are good. We will inject uh, 3 volts, why not? Uh, this is a 3 volt rail. We are not risking anything to inject uh, 3 volts. So we will. 3 volts are uh, were set. And now we will plug the charger on the DC jack. And... Wow! Nearly 4 amps. This is a high 4.2, 4.3, a very high consumption. It is definitely a capacitor. I'm pouring some uh, isopropylic on the on these uh, caps. Maybe I will stand lucky, but uh, nothing is getting hot uh, there. So. We must remove the board and check with our, our uh, thermal camera. Let's go and do it. Thermal camera is set. We will plug the charger, our power supply, and check uh, what uh, will get hot. Now I'm plugging. On the upper side, Nothing's getting hot, but on the lower you see the glow. Wow, something is really burning there. It is beside the NAND. Oh, that's not a good thing, but maybe we are lucky. It's the capacitor, some capacitor there. And under the microscope, this is the view. This is what we have. Uh, this is water damage, definitely. So, some of these components, these capacitors, or a capacitor is sorted. We will pour some uh, isopropylic alcohol to check. But first, let's clean up. Okay. Nothing will change, of course. So, we will check with the isopropylic and look, with 4 amps, the isopropylic evaporates quickly. I don't have any guesses what it's about. Uh, I think we must uh, remove the underfill, this uh, resin that is holding these capacitors uh, in place and uh, after that we will uh, check what is uh, heating up again I don't think that we will uh, forecast or see something there are two capacitors that are ugly but first, let's remove the underfill. 200 Celsius, our tweezer, and we are trying to remove uh, 
the resin that is uh, holding these capacitors. We are trying not to harm the NAND chip with uh, high temperatures, you know, it's not good because the underfill beside, uh, beneath the, the NAND flash uh, is uh, a lot and uh, if the solder balls expand we will have a certain short with uh, some uh, balls while melted. So I'm trying to remove the this resin. I will need something sharper. Okay, I will continue scraping. And I will go through with my knife now. And while I'm scrapping, oops, this capacitor is off. It's off board. I don't think that is a coincidence. Uh, I think that's, uh, that uh, this capacitor was damaged. So we will check now for. Shorts, there are no shorts. The rail is clear. Good news. Very good news. So we will, uh, we must solder the coil first and then check uh, and see what is the condition of this board after soldering of course the 3v3 underscore s2 coil you can see there there are no shorts but the coil is missing so let's go and uh, restore uh, the circuit let's put uh, the coil back Microscope view now. Okay, here's the coil. We will not uh, use uh, hot air. We will solder by hand. We don't want to harm uh, anything around uh, the coil. Okay. We're making the pads uh, nice and flat and then uh, placing the coil and uh, with our tweezer we are pushing while we are soldering in order to be the coil to be flat on the pads now we must add some uh, solder to ensure that uh, it is uh, soldered properly on the pads. Likewise, and after that, we will clean a bit and uh, test uh, our board if it is playing anything or something, or we're having other troubles. Let's go. With triple speed, put the board back, plug uh, what we must plug in order to check what uh, is going on with the board, if we are having a display or we are not. If we are having a display and uh, the OS, the macOS loads, we will be okay. So let's go and see the amp meter, which is good. We have an Apple logo and uh, we have a Mac OS loading bar. Uh, these are good news because uh, 
the NAT flash is working and we are loading the macOS. I think that uh, the case uh, is uh, okay. The trouble is no more. We have no short, we have a healthy MacBook. That was it. That was the repair as you saw. If you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another repair. Bye.